Here we go. Is there going to be a knockout? Very tough one for the fighter from Greece tonight. When they're fighting against somebody who's on a win streak like this, yeah. it's always difficult. Absolutely. Oh, oh ho, ho. beautiful low kick there by Vitay Ayut. So we're going to miss there by Angelos. See that Angelos is trying to move forward. Oh, oh good. Oh. Full fight is connected. Right kick to the midsection by Witaya Yurt and the right hand by Angelos. Yeah, don't call him off yet. Angelos might be new to the game of RWS, but he's not new to the sport. Exactly. To the midsection there by the tie. Low kick there by Angelos. Oh, he then walks into a right hand. Good left hand as well by Witaya Yurt. Oh, good right body shot. These two are very fast. Lightning at 130 pounds, good right low kick. There, swinging left up there from Angelos. Right hand from the tie. One, two coming in, but blocked. Good low kick by the tie. Yeah, Angelos looking to get those punches and low kicks going. Yeah, he is pushing forward, oh, being aggressive. With the Angela. power shots, yeah, coming from Wittegaard Yud right now. Oh, Ooh. ripping left body shot from. Angelos, with a young saying, yeah, bring it. Don't know about that. Don't know how many more of them you can take without going down. Yeah, I like what's going on there. Tie fighter not backing down, ready to face the adversity of hands. Oof. You see Angelos looking for that left hook, just over the top, wide of the mark that time. Precision missing there from Angelos. It seems like he's happy to fight off the back foot. Low kicks there from both fighters. Left kick to the midsection, but connecting to the arms. But it still scores in Muay Thai. Should be noted. Ooh, and uh, I think it was a left hook that connected. Angelus kind of uh, losing balance a little bit there. Not sure if it was from the punch or something else. But Vitae, yeah, you're definitely the more accurate of the two. Angelus pushing forward still. Can't really find a target. Yeah, looking for that left hand. Uh, Mitayo Yurt is good at defending his position. Oh, good right knee there. Good both fighters. <laughs> Fairly even round, not an easy one to yeah, judge. It is. Yeah, absolutely right. Oh, with the left kick there. Good inside kick. Oh, and a good oh. left hand from Mitayo Yurt. <laughs> Mike have won the round for him. Seems confident that he has. Angelus, more disappointed maybe with his performance. He's not glowing about winning the round. Yeah. Plus, open scoring here at RWS. We've been watching throughout tonight. You'll get to see who the judges have scored it in favour for. After this, we'll, it will be the turn of the long bar. I don't know if you can hear that, that's picking up on the microphones, but you can hear the Brazilian are actually uh, celebrating in the back there with Emerson Bento, the new stadium champion at middleweight. Great history here tonight. Ooh, good low kick there, but good right hand from Witte Ayut. Angelos preferring to go low. Witte Ayut throwing arms and an elbow. Good knees to the thigh there from both fighters. Well, evenly matched up this one. Both very aggressive. Oh, yeah, good left hand. Oh, good right hook Ooh. once again there from Angelos. Yeah, you very confident again. Of course, no knockdowns here tonight on RWS. Sorry, no knockouts here tonight mm. at RWS. Remember, there is no knockouts or a knockout that's deemed worthy of that 100,000 baht. It will be rolled over to next week. And of course, next week, it's the first of a two-part final week here at RWS, which could be very interesting. Remember, the winners, each winner of the tournament gets 3 million baht. And they could also add on an extra 200k as well if they wanted or decide to knock their opponent out. Mm. All right, so I'm going to put you on the spot. Who's going to get... It's that time again. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to get the performance of the night? Well, 
it's Europe difficult to look past Emerson Bento simply because he's now a, a history maker and a Rajnam Miller Stadium title. But if you take each individual fight as its own, then I'm probably looking at Joe Ryan. Mm. The way that he was able to dismantle Razor, I thought was very impressive. Because, you know, Razor in that opening round, he was looking confident, but... Oh, and there's a... Wait, sorry to cut you off, but I think there's a cut on Angelo's forehead right now. Yeah, there is a small cut. Oh, swing and a miss there by Angelos. But yeah, let's not dismiss or discount the fact that there's a female bout up later. You never know what could happen in that fight. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially these two oh, fighters. Angelos again looking for those one-two combinations, but he just walks into an elbow. Really good fighter and Desi, we know yeah. she's gonna push forward non stop. These two are world classes, world class athletes, so, so she, this is gonna be interesting. She was in the tournament last year, yeah, absolutely. 12 pound, and the only two fighters she lost against were the two fighters that made it through to the final, mm. Tom Rapsomy and uh, Zara Gogan. So, yeah, she's a very talented fighter, but as is Don Kalfar as well. She's, this will be a great fight, actually. Looking forward to that. The last fight tonight here on RWS coming up next. Good low kick. Oh. It was, it was even-ish, let's say, opening round, but I think in the second round, he's just he's extended his lead and he's starting to make it look a little bit easier now. Yeah, absolutely. As you can see, the blood flowing down the forehead of Angelos. With the Ayut, now you understand why he's 7-0 in his last seven points. Yeah, Very talented. Controlling the fight too much with the Ayut. Well, let's see if he can do it. Here we go, round number three. Now or never, as they say, for Angelos. Nice low kick. Oh, beautiful low kick in reply, though, from with Ayut. Right hand through the guard of by Angelo. Oh, that low kick hurt him. It buckled his leg. Don't know how many more they can take. As Angelos moves forward and looks for that left and right combination once again here in the final round. Swinging hands here from Angelos, but just not finding the mark or doing any real damage. Again, like you mentioned just now with a kickboxing style. I mean, a little bit difficult to adapt here for Angelos as we tell oh. you his... Oh, good left hook there from Angelos. Yeah, absolutely, and perhaps this is what he's been looking for. He needs to go to war. He needs to bring the action to Witte Ayud, who is pretty comfortable at his range and pace. Good low kick there from Witte Ayud. Movement, movement around the ring there by the TIE fighter. Low kick coming in by Angelos. Swinging a miss there. A one-two combination. It seems lovely. You see that blood pouring down his face now. Mm. This is much better though by Angelos. See, so there's some swelling under the right eye of Wittaya Yud. He's been urged on here by his corner is Angelos. Yeah, back to the center of the ring again. He's looking for that left hook, that Ooh. left hand. As is with Ayut, though. Last few seconds or minutes in the fight. Oh, right hand there from with Ayut. Angelos trying to rip a left body shot against the Thai fighter. Just cannot find one big clean strike, which he needs, of course. As Witayut ties him up. I don't think we've seen Witayut do any kicks this fight. <laughs> he was mainly controlling the fight with punches and knees. Oh, swinging oh. right hand there from Witayut finds the target. As the blood flow starts to increase. Oh, oh good low kick there from Witayut. Buckled the leg once again in this round. Right hand off the back foot there by Witteyut. The Thai fighter now in cruise control with 20 seconds left on the clock here of the penultimate bout at this week's RWS.
the week that we saw history being made. Oh, beautiful right hand there from Witeyo to end the fight. Happy Witeyo. Great performance here on his RWS debut. Back and forth war, but if we're being honest, I feel like the Witeyo got the better of the exchanges throughout the entire first, second and third round. Angelos is trying his Trying everything he oh. had in that third round to try and stop with it. Yeah, he, he honestly walked into him. a lot of shots. He got caught with elbows yeah. and punches as well. And there was a low kick, a couple of low kicks. It took Angelos off balance, like you say, there, but hurt him. That was a good fight, that. Very enjoyable to watch. Don't forget, boys and girls. The final bout of this week's RWS is coming up next. But right now, we're going to get the official decision of this matchup with our M3. This is the deal. Ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges. God is bold, 30 to 27. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. Right. Oh.